Uh, we love, and I do mean it. I just, she's one of my favorite people. We love when our next guest stops by. And the only thing better than the cooking mom is when cooking mom's cooking with bacon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Amy Atten back to the show. Hi, Amy. Hi. Hi, mom. Okay, uh, there's nothing better than you plus bacon, and that's what we're doing today. So what are we, let's get right to it. What are we making here? I've got two last minute Thanksgiving side dishes. Now I'm not saying don't make the green bean casserole, because yeah, yeah, yeah. then you'd be in the doghouse. I'm saying add a couple more things. Okay. So first of all, bacon is so on trend. So yes. if you're gonna be serving bacon, you're on trend, you're, you're trendy. On. And then Brussels sprouts. Here's that guy in the front <laughs> row, that's right. <laughs> Brussels sprouts are also trending. Yeah. Still, they've been hot for a while. So this been. is bacon Brussels sprouts. So I started out with four to six pieces of bacon that I chopped up, and okay. I'm just frying it up in the skillet. Got now four gonna, to six. Yes, okay. exactly. Um, or eight. Well, you know, Whatever. More, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. All right, so then we're going to add some finely diced onion. Oh. And at home, let that cook for about five minutes. Okay. Now, if you have, have a whole ton of bacon drippings in there, you might want to get rid of some of them. But you want definitely some of the drippings because you want that to flavor the Brussels sprouts. But not sprouts. too much because no. it'll get gooey. Greasy. It'll get yeah, too greasy. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, it depends how much fat your bacon is releasing. Okay, okay. So, basically, let this hang out a little bit. Now, went to the grocery store. This is how pathetic I am. I could just eat that. Oh, I know. Then, did you I see know. that shot? I could okay, just, the yeah. smell of bacon and onions together. Amazing. Like, I mean, best smell ever. Yeah. Okay, so then um, this is one bag of frozen Brussels sprouts. Frozen. Okay? Frozen. Yep, you could get the fresh, but they're kind of a hassle. They are. And they're expensive. And yeah. these, basically, uh, I partially thawed them, so just pulled them out of the freezer, let them sit in the counter for, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Sliced them in half. Okay? Why a par frozen slice them? Uh, they're easier that way. Yeah, they're yeah, easier yeah. to slice, slice yes, that way. They stay together. Yeah, exactly. So in go, and I just cut them in half. Okay. In go our sprouts, one bag. If you've got a bunch of people over, double, triple this recipe. Okay. And then we're going to add a little butter. Oh, well, oh, yeah. there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Everything. I know. And some salt and pepper. Everything's butter, better, butter, better. <laughs> Everything's I, better with butter and bacon, Amy. I'm telling you, this is a hit. Even if you don't make this at Thanksgiving, make this sometime during the holidays. As far as pre-prepping ahead of time, you can get those Brussels sprouts cut ahead of time. You can get the onion diced ahead of time. You know, and then just it literally, I know Thanksgiving dinner like all happens at once. A lot that, happens yeah. at once. It's a lot of timing crazy. goes into it. Yes, exactly. So this is, if you have everything kind of prepped, the bacon and the onion done, uh, Everything just goes in the last minute. It's like five minutes. I was going to say, so once it starts cooking everything, how long do you cook? Because sometimes people overcook the Brussels sprouts. Now, how long again, Amy, on that? You don't want to do that. No. Five to eight minutes. So eight by, minutes. by the end of this segment, it, it's going to be done. Basically, when that butter melts and the Brussels sprouts are warm. A little brown. Done. Do you oh, want oh. some of the Brussels sprouts to be brown? I like a little bit. I do, too. Um, I like a little you know, brown. But don't overcook them. It's kind of a fine balance. Okay. Okay. So this is like now the craziest, oh. most delicious thing ever. They're bacon wrapped green bean bundles. Yeah. What? Yes. So, like I said, I'm not saying don't do the green bean casserole, but maybe do this too. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out with canned whole green beans. You don't want to get the cut ones, you want to get the long ones. Okay. Um, and so, we're going to take a few green beans, kind of pile them up like this in bundles. Okay. And then I've got um, a third of a slice of thick cut bacon, and you wrap the bacon around the green beans. Okay. Get them. <laughs> I know. I'm loving the guy in the front row. I, oh, 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 oh. Well, uh, it, it is a pretty yummy recipe. It is, yeah. So, again, getting things done ahead of time, you can have these all wrapped and parked in your refrigerator like today. Have the you kids know? do it. Yeah, give totally. them something to Absolutely. do. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. My daughter and I completely cook Thanksgiving together. Yeah. And I give her all the worst chores. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, not really. No, you're all not. Right, all right. Yeah. So, basically, once these are all wrapped, here is the secret ingredient. We've got brown sugar. Okay. And then Catalina dressing. What? Yes, they still make this. It is there. Yes. Okay, now it's I'm going to crazy. Gonna I'm, I know. While you're mixing this, I'm going to say what I think some people at home might be saying. Isn't that going to be way too sweet? Uh, no, because no. you got the salty and the. Okay. It is just it way too taste. Okay. Way too taste. I'm excited. I mean, it's crazy good. So basically, then you're going to take some of the sauce. Yeah. And dump a little of the sauce over each of the green beans. Goes into the uh, 350 degree oven for about 20, 25 minutes until the bacon gets nice and crispy. The sauce kind of. Uh, I, it, it's just magic. It is delicious. Look at this. Yeah, so here it's it is. Crazy Rob good. Let's get a shot right. Oh, wow. wow. There we go. Right there. So huh? good. Make plenty. They disappear. They're also a great appetizer, but they'll go good with anything from the prime rib to turkey, whatever you're cooking this holiday season. So, oh. yeah. Yum. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. The cooking mom, everybody. This is what I love. We got to go. This is what I love. And, and well, this is your thing. 
Everything here, nothing fancy. You oh, can no. get all of this stuff at oh, your yeah. grocery and store. Cheap. Like, and, I, and cheap. I had a kid in college. I'm watching my pennies. So tons of great recipes uh, for Thanksgiving on my website, thecookingmom.com. That's right. For these recipes and more, check out Amy's website. She just said it, thecookingmom.com. There it is. Happy and pick Thanksgiving. Up, and there's the book. And happy Thanksgiving to yeah, you. Thank you, sweetheart. You Thank you bet. for coming.